Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to bridge assets from the Ethereum network to the Moon River network using AnySwap. First, a couple things to go over before we get started. There are inherent risks associated with using bridges. Make sure you understand these risks and you are comfortable with them before proceeding. And this video is not meant to be an endorsement of any particular bridge, but merely a tutorial showing you how to use it. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you'll do is head to anyswap.exchange and you might be taken to the router page, but we wanna to go to the bridge page. And for the purposes of this video, we'll be bridging from ETH mainnet to the Moon River network. You wanna be connected to the network that you wanna bridge from. In this case, that would be Ethereum. So we have our MetaMask connected. And here you select the token that you wanna bridge and you select the network that you wanna bridge on the right. So in this case, we wanna to bridge to the Moon River network. So we're gonna scroll down here to the mover mainnet and the token is gonna to stay the same. We're bridging ETH to ETH. Uh, that's not changing, only the network is changing. Make sure to pay attention to the reminders at the bottom, including the fees and the minimum and maximum cross-chain amounts. And also keep in mind that these fees and minimums and maximums may be different depending on which way on the bridge you're going. So going from Ethereum to Moon River, the minimum and maximums might be different going from Moon River to Ethereum. In this case, the minimum cross-chain amount is 0.007. And if you try to do an amount smaller than that, then you'll get a warning and you won't be able to proceed. For this video, let's go ahead and demo with 0.01 ETH. And we'll go ahead and press swap. We'll confirm the transaction in our MetaMask. It did say swap, but remember this is a bridge, so uh, that could be confusing, but it is a, a bridge. And another thing to keep in mind is that we are on the latest version of AnySwap. So if you press here, you'll be taken to V1, which is an older version. So we're currently using the latest version and I'll be back as soon as this transaction confirms. Okay, and our transaction has completed. One more thing I wanted to mention, remember that you're bridging from network to network, but the address is staying the same. So you access your asset on the Moon River network using the same private key or the same seed. So we're not switching addresses. It's not being sent to a different address. It's just a different network. This transaction has completed, so we can click here to check on it. Now our transaction appears here in the AnySwap Explorer. And keep in mind that it will take a few minutes before this information will be available using another blockchain explorer such as BlockScout. So we're just gonna wait patiently, and then in a couple minutes we'll check BlockScout. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up BlockScout, and then we can wait for the transaction to come through. Currently, I don't have any Moon River or other tokens at this particular address. So we can see that the token transfer has come through, 0.01 ETH. I'm gonna click here on the tokens tab, and then I'm going to add this contract address to my MetaMask in order to see the balance there as well. So I'll click add token, paste the contract address, and you can see that the balance is 0.01 ETH on the Moon River network. So it's that easy. Remember that the fees are typically a bit larger when you're moving from Moon River to Ethereum. That has nothing to do with the Moon River network, but moreover, it has to do with the minting and unlocking process and the gas costs associated with that on the Ethereum blockchain. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.